For this week's In Focus, our Brenda Mack has more on curating art with a cause. Two years ago, I lost my son to suicide. It was her oldest of two sons. And as a mother, you know, it's just part of you is gone. After doing counseling and stuff, my counselor said that, you know, maybe it would be good to find a support group also to find people to correlate with. And I did. That's when she found Heartbeat, a Batrami County suicide prevention group. They really are your lifeline. You know, they teach you different ways to cope. And that's hard because, you know, Mother's Day, that's horrible. And since then, she knew in her heart she wanted to give back. So she reached out to a local artist to organize a fundraiser called Painting for Suicide Prevention. Well, I was very, very excited to do this event. Suicide has touched my family, and I know that it is a cause that more people need to be aware of. The intimate event was created not only in memory of their loved ones, but it also sparked a conversation among those who came. I was a nurse, so I've seen a lot of cases of suicide, and it's very sad. I'm just very supportive, so it stop any one person would be great. The cost to pain is $35, and half of the proceeds go to Batrami area suicide prevention programs, and at least $300 were raised for resources. We don't have the resources that we need to give to families and individuals pertaining to suicide and what they can do to help their friends and different people around them if they are struggling with mental issues. Something that, yes, you're helping and making money and bringing awareness to the community, but at the same time, you're relaxing and just letting go. The group meets once every month and welcomes anyone to reach out. It's wonderful therapy. For this week's In Focus, Brenna Mack, the News. The group is also organizing its 10th annual Run, Walk and Skate for Suicide Prevention this September 10th and a Gathering of Hearts event for the night before. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.